cutest cat ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys hungry? So your face peeing marabou, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Okay, mommy's going fishing. Where are you? Oh, gone. Let me think here. I've got your boots, waders, my boots, waders, fishing gear. Yeah, that's all we need. Are we recording? Yes. Oh, hello. All right, it's November 17th. Yes, it's November 17th. And we're off to do some filming, going to do some coho fishing. Uh, yes, it's November 17th. November 17th. All right, so we're going to go coho fishing on a local river. Going to do a bit of twitching, going to do a bit of float fishing at the first spot, and then we'll see what happens after that. You do get cold this time of year, so we're going to be dealing with low, clear water. So we got some finesse twitching jigs. I just got up four again and tied jigs because I only had about 200, so I wanted to have about 230. So now I got 230 jigs ready to go because you know you lose jigs, right? That's how it goes. You gotta be ready. You have marabou feathers stuck to you. I have marabou. I literally have marabou floating throughout our property. You can find it anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, I know it's all over my couch. Anywhere. People were leaving here the other day after my birthday with <laughs> marabou all over them. Everybody had marabou stuck to them. Yeah, it's a marabou world. I was gonna be allowed back in or not? Hi. Take two. Rod forgot his sunglasses. Can't, can't forget that it's gonna be real sunny today, and that would be really bad. Real, honestly, nothing worse than not being able to see. I can't wait to get a new pair of my Watermaster Millikens. Oh yeah. Watermaster? Oh, Watermaster. Waterland. Waterland Co. Waterland Co. Milliken is the model I like. Milliken's my guy. <laughs> he made the Bass Elites. I know you guys don't care, but like, it's a big deal. He went straight from YouTube sensation to one, first season on the Bassmaster Opens. He made the Bassmaster Elites. That's hard to do. Good for him. Way to go, Ben. All right, let's go. We're going now. We're going. Tadlines, Ben Rhodes. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yucky! <laughs> uh, ew! Watch where I'm going, and I'm gonna I'm gonna step right in one. Ugh. Hey, so it's uh, late November. Oh, what is this? November the 17th. Yeah, mid. Mid. And uh, there's definitely some coho around. We've seen some. Haven't really done much fishing yet. We just hiked down to the spot. There's nobody here. We like that. That's our favorite. It's really low. It's really clear. Um, gonna be tough conditions to catch fish, but definitely be able to get it done. I'm sure seen quite a few chum zombies in the creek over there so hopefully they're all in there because I have a bad problem with chums. If they're around they bite no matter what I'm using. So. We were in yeah. this exact spot uh, a, year ago. Yeah. a year ago two days different November 15th we were here. 
Yeah, so last time it was almost all chums. I struggled <laughs> to get, I was getting coho bites, but I think I only got one if I remember. I think this is the year of the coho for you. We'll see. Last year was year of the chums, so. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go in, I got this little finesse twitching jig. It's pretty, kind of a shoot in here. I don't know if twitching is gonna get it done. Here definitely looks like a float fishing piece of water, but I'm gonna go in with the jig first. I'm kind of set up for light action stuff, so. Yeah, if I hook a chum, we're probably gonna, not going to see that jig come home. I don't think it's pretty light action, six, eight pound leader. So, um, so what do you think about the conditions like the sun? Is that not a little bright? Well, it's shaded can... along that cut bank, so I have a feeling they're all going to be pressed right against that bank. That's why I think the jig's going to be tough because they're going to be. I'll cast that jig and I'll let it sink. It's either going to be one or two things. It's going to go into a log jam and be stuck, or get a bite, or it'll move away too fast because of the current. We'll see. I'm gonna have to cast up, try to get it down into that pocket, maybe on my first twitch only, and then it'll, it'll kind of, as I twitch, it'll lift up and away. It's unfortunate, but that's, this water's got a lot of uh, speed to it. So, yeah, let's give it a try. Failure video. No love at all. Didn't see any coho down here. So far we've seen two packs of coho. One we barely fished for just for a minute. Decided to leave those ones alone for now because they were kind of colored up, most of the ones I could see. Came down, saw another school of coho. They also looked a little colored up. I couldn't see though. You can't really see the chromers if they're in there. Uh, there was a couple people fishing there, so we left them alone. Came down here, boo, nothing in here. Not even chumps, it gets, yeah. So we're heading back up. Off we go. Follow along. What? Chrome. That's chrome. Chrome dome right there. All right, so let's go. Wait. We're gonna go somewhere else. There was people still here. Too many people for our liking. Not enough fish. Yeah. It. Come on. It wasn't what? the people. The people weren't the well, problem. There was people on the only fish I found. There was two people, so they. We gave them those fish. I wasn't gonna fish on those fish. We, you didn't give them anything. Well, you know what I mean? Like I, I left them to those fish. I wasn't gonna jump in on their fish. So, yeah. yeah. That's proper etiquette. And that's the only fish we found. So yeah, let other people have them. And now we're gonna go try a- uh, You're pouring coffee on the seat of my car, you savage. Being very careful. Now we're gonna go fish a backwater, like a small backwater of a, bi of a bigger river nearby. So it's a bit of a hike where we're going, like quite a hike. I don't know, go see what we can find. Go do some exploring. You never know. Okay. So try it out.
guy. So it's um, pitch black and Rod is still out there fishing. Well, interesting day. You smell like dirt. Yeah, I have dirt on me. <laughs> it happens when you're playing in the dirt. So yeah, so it ended up being a pretty good day. Hooked a boat, I don't know, seven or eight coho, probably. Maybe nine or ten, but hooked, but... I think seven or eight Landed one, two, three, four, more. five. Landed six. Okay. Had to work for him today, but uh, yeah, again, micro twitching jigs, uh, pink. That last one was on pink. Um, I got them on purple purple and black, and I got one on blue, and had a, I lost another one on blue. So pretty much every jig I tried hooked a fish. So yeah, it didn't really matter what color. As long as the technique was right. Yeah, I don't the think technique the technique yeah, was the, right. Yeah, I don't think the, exactly. I don't think the color mattered. Technique Seriously, was. you smell like dirt. Wow. I smell like dirt. There's fish rolling, and I have to guide for two days. And I know. I then, can then tell I have, that you're. Then I have to go get my fake teeth the next day at 10 a.m. So I'm probably gonna bring my rod with me. Oh, to the dentist? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just head straight over. Okay. Anyhow, there's still uh, I still got walking wades going for uh, coho until the, December 10th. So yeah, if you're interested in getting up with some coho, give us a call. Don't forget to share, subscribe, share the channel, and uh, until next time, tight lines and bent rods.